Happy Monday! This is Artie Astor with India's Inn, and I wasn't going to do a third episode today. Um, yeah, and I think this is something that, you know, people who watch the show probably um, benefit from understanding. I'm not wearing the same shirt four days in a row, three days in a row. I do a couple episodes a day, and then I premiere them on weekdays at noon. I'll probably get out like a month or six weeks and then stop for a while and then go back, you know. Um, but while the uh, the juices are flowing, I want to do as many reviews as possible. I was not going to do, I think this was my third review today. I was not going to do a review today, but I posted on threads. I, I put the call out there. Um, tag your friend day. If you have a friend who's an independent musician and you think that their music should be featured on the show, um, you know, send me the link and tag them. And I expected like three comments. I actually expected people to do the all, oh my God, you're just fishing for comments, you know, uh, reply. But um, the, the turnout was fantastic. I think I got like 15 links in a matter of an hour. And I just started listening and there's this song here. I'm going to pull it over. And, um, okay, hold on a second. <laughs> There's this song here by Patrick Hardy that, to me, is loads of fun. It's a song that I'm trying to remember when I, I when I, I usually, before I go on, I usually will, um, you know, listen to the song and maybe play around with it just to kind of see what's going on. Um, so that way I'm not going in cold, because I have gone in cold before, and then I'm like, Oh my God, look at this. It's this chord and it's that chord and this is like that and that's like that. And then people comment and they're like, no, no. But thank you for the review. You got it all wrong, but thanks. So I was listening to it and uh, from what I can gather, gosh, I don't remember. I think it's like, I know it's it's mostly three chords. And um, is it like G, E, and A? I don't really remember. I don't remember what the chords are, to be completely honest with you. It's um, it's the chord structure and the and the chord progression is not um, where the magic lies in this song. I think it lies in the overall joy and 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 fun of the song and great production too. I mean, great instrumentation, musicality, and great production. But that first few seconds threw me off. And someone sent me the song and they said that they were enjoying listening to this. And when I heard the first few seconds, I'm like, okay. And you know, I was getting ready to change the song because it wasn't what I was looking for. Not because I didn't like it. It just totally wasn't, wasn't what I was looking for. And then the song started and it just hit me that this was done on purpose. <laughs> and from that moment in, it's two minutes and 14 seconds and from that moment in, I was hooked into everything about the song I loved. So I'm going to go ahead and play it. Eight seconds. So that eight second introduction, and I thought, okay, so this is kind of like a folk song. You know, I was expecting a banjo to come in or or something like that, or mandolin. Like, I really thought this was going to be folky. And then that happened. And then I was like, whoa. Right at the right time, too, because I was going to change it and go to another song because I wasn't looking for a folk song. Nothing against folk. I actually love folk, like, a lot. But I wasn't looking for it. So let's go back. <laughs> okay. So right away, and I should have noticed in that first eight seconds where it was kind of folky, um, they, they had like two guitar tracks. It was well engineered. It just sounded folky. And then bam, the song starts and production's top notch. It's very well 
put together. It's very well equalized. Nothing's and for for a song that does use distortion, there's not like nothing's bleeding into each other. You can still distinguish everything. And then when he starts singing, you can tell he. Um, let me go back. Double track, right there. And double track right there. So you 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 hear the first few verses and the last couple words that he kind of screams out, you would think it's double tracked, but I don't think it is. I think it's just him yelling, you know. Um, but he's got great control over what he's doing there because sometimes singing and then yelling a couple of words, you tend to overshoot and maybe even go sharp. And um, he's not doing that. He's got really good control over his voice. And I don't have good control over my voice. So when I do something like that, while I'm singing in one line and then yell, I will go sharp and then it's like, Brr. and then I, I, I will go use pitch correct and be like, just bring it down a little bit. And if he does that here, if he uses pitch correct in post, then good for him. It's still good engineering. <laughs> Who doesn't in 2024, you know? <laughs> Nice harmonies. And you know, he never really leaves that folky guitar lick that the song started with. It's just now part of the heavy song. So he basically took it and, um, I know my chair is, I, I stopped using this chair because of the squeaking and stuff. And um, I forgot to change it out. But I'm, what, nine minutes in, seven minutes into the video, so I'm not going to take it out. But, um... He keeps that folk lick into the song. It's just now being translated into this this alternative uh, style, this this rock and roll style, and I really like that. Right there. It's not different from the introduction. It might even be the same notes. Love it, love it. Look at this, look at this. This is engineering. This is engineering. Mixing, master, master, but this is really engineering. So you you have a song. It's it, it and it's it's interesting because you have a guitar on the right ear, guitar on the left ear. But it's smart. It's smart. It's very well equalized. Uh, nothing's bleeding into the rest of the song. And then you have the drums and the bass up the middle with the vocals up the middle. And sometimes the vocals are um, double tracked. I mean, I, I think I even heard three tracks um, of, of vocals at one point. And um, because the, the there's distortion on the guitar, having the guitar kind of like way to the right and way to the left gives the other instruments that are coming in hard gives those instruments room in the studio to kind of play themselves out without without interruption without anything getting in its way you know and um, that's just great engineering right there vocal track is really nice and i love what he did here right there the little stop and the ha ah! This. So you have the heavy guitar comping stopped, and now you have in the right ear and bass and drums and vocals, right? So the heaviness is basically gone, but you still get a sense of electric guitar because the electric guitar is in the right ear and the draw and the and the bass is very driving. Um, nice. Perfect. It's such a nice song, and it's so much done within essentially a three chord song. There's more than three chords, but it's mostly around a three chord progression. I think there's more than three chords. 
Now, let me comment on the drums. And I, and I want to be honest. I don't want to, you know, pa pause the video, go research some stuff, and then come back. Now, I, I texted him on Instagram. Let me see if he got back to me. Oops, wrong way. Hold on a second. Let me go over here. Did he get back to me yet on Instagram? No, I don't think he's following me. I think I'm following him. So it might have, my message to him might have just gone right into his like junk box or whatever. Um, look, I can't tell the difference anymore. Not in 2024. I cannot tell the difference between programmed drums, which is what I do, and I'm okay at it. I give myself a six out of a 10. If he's using programmed drums, he's phenomenal. Now, he could be using drum loops, which is someone playing drums, and then he's picking, like, the fills and the certain things, you know. Um, but then that in and of itself is a talent because then you're now uh, an engineer and a producer putting, the, putting the, um, the drum track together, which could make or break a song. If there's a drummer, then... The engineering on the drums is fantastic. It's, it sounds professionally done. And the drummer is amazing. Whatever the case is, and I, I say this now when I don't know if there's a drummer, whatever the case is, it's attention, enough attention was given to the drums so it doesn't detract from the song. I've released songs, usually the ones that I've released like a couple years ago, like 2020, 2019, 2021. I thought, I got a drum track, I'm all set. But just having a drum track doesn't mean anything. If your drum track sucks, then that's all anyone is going to hear. That's all anyone, if it's engineered incorrectly, and yes, there's a wrong way to engineer it. If it's, if it's engineered incorrectly, if the drum track detracts from the song, then no matter how beautiful the song is, it, that's what the listener is going to hear. They're going to say, nice song, but, and that's not what I, what I hear right here. Whatever, whatever Patrick did for the drum track, whether it's programmed, whether it's loops, whether he played the drums himself or he has a buddy who does drums, whatever he did, he made sure the drums didn't detract from the overall message of the song, you know? So um, anyways, that's all. I'm going to end this video. I don't want to make it too long. I just think that this is some great stuff. I'm going to put a link to his music down below. And as always, uh, I sound like a broken record, right? I'm going to say the same thing. Spread the word. Um, my channel is not monetized. I mean, it, you know what? If it does become monetized, I'll tell everybody. I mean, it, you know, hey, my channel is monetized. But usually I get a copyright hit on every single video. And then if, uh, if there is any money to be made, it actually goes to the artist. It doesn't go to me. Um, but I'm trying to get as many subscribers as possible because I'm really interested in creating or being part of, not necessarily creating, but being part of an already evolving and growing um, indie musician community. It's just, I think the beginning of 2024, something happened, and I really thank Threads. I always tell people, if you're an indie musician, go to Threads. Yes, it's social media, and trust me, I can be a jerk. I I've replied to people like, you're such an idiot, la -di -da -di. and then I realize it's social media. It's, <laughs> well, you know, when you're in traffic, you get road rage. Yeah, I get, I can get social media rage. And then doing this, focusing on the positive, on people's wonderful creativity and the beautiful music that's coming out of the indie scene, focusing on that, I don't get social media rage. So I really want to be part of a great, gigantic um, indie musician, um, you know, community, and I can't do it alone. So um, please subscribe to the channel, let your friends know, and send me, keep sending me links on threads. I think that that's actually really good. Um, I, 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 I try, I almost look at every single link, but I will say this, I'm giving each song like 25 seconds, and then I just move on if I don't think it's something that I can feature. Because I, it, it's hard for me to listen to a whole four minute song, and then to do that 30 times a day because I'm really getting a lot of links a day, like a lot, like scores of links a day. And, and I'm putting out one video a day. So, you know, some some uh, falling by the wayside. And I apologize for that, but I really do think that it's worth sending me your links because I am sitting here listening to the music and then saying, I am, I'm going to feature, I'm going to feature Tom, oh, Tom Hardy. I'm going to feature... <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm going to feature Patrick Hardy this time, you know, and who knows? And I was, I was just about to skip the song because I thought it was a different genre. And I'm like, oh, I'm not in the mood to do a folk song. So anyways, that's all. Just subscribe to the channel if you can. And thank you so much for watching. This is Artie Astor with India Zin. Until next time, keep it groovy. <laughs>